in a previous video on energy we did a, a simple problem involving a box on a table with a spring and the question was just to find the maximum velocity of the box and there wasn't any friction it was actually a conservation of mechanical energy problem this problem is a little different this problem there is a friction between the box and the table and this the question this time is just how far will the box slide along the table until it stops alright so let's start with what objects are involved here we have the box and the spring and the earth and the table and there's the spring force and the weight and this time the table it creates two forces uh, the normal force up from the floor, from the table as well as a friction force uh, parallel to the table creating a free bonnet diagram of a spring force, a friction force to the left, weight down, normal up, and the box is going that way. All right, let's run through our five questions. What is the system? Again, as in the previous video, the system will be the box, the earth, and the spring leaving the table to be part of the surroundings and so there are two forces from the surroundings a normal force and a friction force second question will there be a sp speed change well the box is moving but at the beginning of the problem the box is not moving and the end of the problem is asking how far will it travel after it stops so no there's no speed change between the beginning and the end of the problem nor is there a height change there is certainly a change in potential energy due to the spring and in this case there are two sources of work there's the work from the normal force plus the work from the friction force but based on our free bow diagram the, there is no the work from the normal force is zero but there will be a work from the friction force so we have a our equation is simply any change in the potential energy due to the spring will be equal to the work done by friction and so we have one half k delta x squared f minus one half k delta x squared i is now friction tries to slow things down so we know that's negative work and so that'll be force of friction times d well we know that at the end of the problem the uh, box is not touching the spring so this whole thing becomes zero and so we have the negative one half times one hundred times um, oops point two five squared is equal to negative now the force of friction and we've seen this before mu m g d where mu m g is a normal force and so this is uh, our fun equation we're comfortable with that and so this side all works out to be minus three point one two five joules so the potential energy of the spring is just a little over three joules and then that's equal to negative point six times point two five times nine point eight d well we get rid of the negative signs so three point one two five is equal to 1.47 d so the total distance that the box end up moving is 2.13 meters